Hi, I'm Javed Jafri and you're watching MissMalani.com. Bhishan, uh, I play a guy called Bhim Singh Chandel, who's kind of a Thakur kind of person from up north near Chandigarh. And uh, he's this kind of slightly regal guy, but he deals in money laundering and uh, stolen cars. And uh, he's got a posse of his goons who have bazookas and AK-47 hanging around and he blows up police cars and he kills policemen and he's, he's somebody who doesn't give a hoot for what's happening. He feels he's in total control and nobody can touch him in his territory and um, yeah, that's him and he's got a butler with him who hangs around with his phone and one butler with a waistcoat and a bow tie and he's very meticulous, this uh, Bhim Singh Chandel and he, uh, most of the time he's filing his nails and although he is very ruthless, he's, a, he's not effeminate, he's, he's very, very manly as a person. But he files his nails he feels less thing clean. Well, it was great fun because Ranveer, uh, as an actor, I've, I've loved him since he's come in. I've uh, loved him in Rocket Singh, I loved him in um, uh, Bhakti, and before that, uh, which was the one I saw, he was rock star. And so, yeah, yeah, and uh, Wake Up Sid. So, I like the kind of performance and the movies he's chosen. He's pretty discerning uh, what kind of movies he does and uh, as an actor he's, he's sensitive he, and he's very focused and I like the way he delivers what he does and, he, and while I was working with him I realized he's also a very good, he's got a very great mind as a director because he's actually done filmmaking in New York and he worked with uh, Sanjay Lila Bansali as an assistant. So he, his mind is he's very tuned into filmmaking so he's not just an actor, he understands the craft of filmmaking, direction, continuity and there were a lot of moments when I was very impressed because he was keeping in track of what's happening around him uh, and he respects his seniors. So I, all these qualities are, are great and they go a long way to make a star. Uh, and Rishi Ji, of course, I've been a huge star of Rishi Sahib and I think, according to me personally, and this is not something I say because he, he, I've worked with him, I think he's the best actor in the entire Kapoor clan right from the beginning till now. I think he's the best actor they have. Uh, they have. And uh, because of the kind of variety he's done and he's very, very natural actor. Uh, so, for me, it was great sharing space with uh, these two. And Neetu Ji, of course, we grew up watching her and she was, she was the poster girl for us. She was like this, wow, this, this young girl who came in Yadu Ki Parat in this red dress and Lekar Hamdi Varandil. So, and she's a wonderful lady. Uh, it's a great mother. And, and for me, interacting with them as a family, and of course, food was a major topic where she really loves food. And so does Randy. But Rishi Ji primarily is a very total foodie, absolutely. So we love this food session and you know, he's come over and I've sent food home and then set. So, so for me that was a lovely experience, yes. I'm not, I'm not exactly. It's, it's primarily is Randy, I'm not. I'm trying to counter it as a Vaishan, I'm sure. Uh, I never have been much of a Vaishan, I'm sure. Pretty conservative on that level, even in college for that matter. Yeah, I, was, I used to dance and I used to be the funny guy and come up on stage. But uh, I don't think so much of Beishar me there. Yeah. Actually, the film was called Beishar, but everybody was so, so lovely and so respectful and so caring as far as the production is concerned, as far as the actors are concerned, that, you know, it's strange. It was, it was the irony of it was there was nothing of Beishar me happening. It was all happening with a lot of respect, a lot of love, a lot of great fun happening. Yeah, so the title is called Beishar, true, but that's the character in the film, and he does what he does. Uh, and he does it wonderfully. So, with Beisharam, I have a film called War Chhodna Yaar, which is releasing one week after Beisharam. Which is a great film. It is a great, actually, a fantastic comedy. And it's a satire. It's not a nonsensical comedy. It's a very intelligent comedy. Uh, then there's a film called Mr. Joby Karwalo, which is, again, a, it's a screwball comedy with Darshan Varshi, Swali Khan, Mashal Vijayaraz. Then I'm playing, uh, uh, again, a villain, a straight, hardcore villain with uh, Rithik Roshan and Katrina Kaif in a film called Bang Bang, which is directed by Siddharth. Anand, who I have worked with in two other films before this one was Salam Namaste and one was Salam So these are immediately there, they are on and two or three films which I am reading the scripts and, and seeing. Okay. I do, yes, yes. Uh, I am looking at probably next year, hopefully I, I could do something. I, I love that show, yeah, it was one of my most creative, in fact I had conceived it and uh, a lot of a lot of the writing, scripting I was involved and there was a, there was a great team there. Shahid uh, as a director and Ashad uh, Sayyad writing it and so we had a great, great team happening in. Uh, I don't know, there's something like that similar, not that, but something on that level. Flashback was another show which was in Chandigarh. So, uh, 
uh, I would love to do something. But a lot of people have taken it off and done various uh, spin-offs of that particular show. After I came that was way back, I did that between 95 and 99. And after that, there's a lot of spin-offs. People have been doing stuff like that. So uh, one whole generation probably has missed that. So when I do it, they'll think I'm copying somebody else. So yeah, that's a risk. I mean, just be good. Think of your country. I think that's important. Peace is a very in, 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 in extremely important ingredient uh, for this country to prosper. And I think we are, uh, the youngsters, the youth, don't try to just escape and go on to the movie and think this is it. No, there's a lot of reality around. Just be in touch with the reality and see what you can contribute if you can make your surroundings slightly better. So, that's all I can say, as human beings.